Welcome back to my playthrough of Starfield. Metal Fox here. Thanks for joining me again. Sitting here at Lizzie's Bar. That's Lizzie right there. Why are we sitting here? Well, we're trying to find this Helgi. Trying to find this. Getting to you? I can fix that. This Helgi Hawkson person. Because uh, we need that. If, we need to, if we're going to clear Irvin's name, we need to convince Helgi to testify. Despite obtaining the evidence to clear Irvin's name, Ellie believes we still need to find a witness to testify. She believes Dr. Helgi Hawkson is still in Gagarin and may be willing to cooperate. After interviewing some locals, we were able to determine his location. How did we do that? Well, he paid her 4,000 credits. She gave us um, something. She gave us... Something with her name on it, Lizzie's, uh, Lizzie's receipt right here. Helgi's got a little room right under town hall with a sleeping bag that looks about as comfortable as a bag of rocks. It's probably the only thing harder than his luck, to be honest. Anyway, Gagarin's tough as hell to navigate, so I'll also send you the coordinates. Don't need, don't need you two coming back making more noise. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stand up here from Lizzie's bar. And we're gonna go for a little walk uh, right down there. It's not far away at all. No one talking about bringing back Max. The city was fine before Freestar banned him. There's an executive here. Oh. What can I get for you? You got anything bubbly back there? <laughs> hired at the Centauri Mills plant, and I'm looking to celebrate. Do you think I've got anything bubbly back here? No, oh, I misspoke. I <laughs> said beer, please. That's what I thought. Her beer's not bubbly? Remember she said she doesn't like wine Are spritzers and stuff like that? I kill for a cappuccino right now. What's up, executive? Centauri Mills sees a lot of potential in Gagarin. All the security of a UC city, but at a fraction of the cost. Okay, nice talking to you. Don't do fancy. But I can let's, uh, let's walk around here and go down these stairs. There's a place we haven't been yet. We're going to have to remember to... Just do some generic exploring here after we're done with all the quests. What's this here? Touch screen to learn more. Liberty Square Memorial. I would love to learn more. This monument is dedicated to the many intrepid explorers who risked their lives so that humanity could one day find a home among the stars. Wow, did I learn a lot there. Uh, we're going down there. That <laughs> look how steep those stairs are. They don't even look like stairs. What's this? Smoked salmon fillet. We got a little game here. All right, don't don't trip on these stairs. She should break your neck. Uh, I guess we're going over here. And there's Helgi right there. Ooh, does he leave any notes here? No. Smoked salmon fillet notepad. Uh, the place is kind of a mess, but hey, at least it's kind of indoors. All right. All right, Helgi. Let's talk. I don't suppose you're here to tell me I've won a ticket to a new planet, huh? Sorry, Doctor. Not today. We came to Gagarin to investigate Irvin Mandani's contract with the mining company a long time ago. Ring any bells? Irvin, yeah. Biologist. Hunter. Yeah, I remember him. Why? Who are you people? Mm-hmm. We could say, you clearly need help. Maybe we could work something out. We could say, we just need to talk for a moment. Or we could say, we want to discuss something you two worked on. He seems very suspicious. Maybe we could start off by offering him help. You clearly need help. Maybe we can work something out. Nah. I don't trust you. I don't even know you. Hmm. So take a long spacewalk with an empty tank, will you? Please. Irvin was once one of your colleagues. He was the one who faced this blame for an ecological disaster about 20 years ago. Do you remember any of that? No. I don't remember lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we could tell him we've uncovered new evidence we think will make a difference. We could say we're trying to prevent the mining company from doing more harm. Or we could say Irvin was Barrett's husband. We're just looking for answers. Um, do you think he'll care if Irvin was Barrett's, Barrett's husband? Um, 
I don't know where to start. I usually start at the bottom, so let's just do that. We've uncovered new evidence we think will make a difference. It's been 20 uh, years. 20. Get out of here. Look, I know this is strange. We show up out of the blue about things that happened decades ago. But right now, nobody save us knows the truth. And that means we're the only ones who can clear Irvin's name. Mm hmm We could say, this is about a better future for, for Gagarin. We could say, we need your expertise to prove this wasn't Irvin's fault. We could say, we know about Hephaestus and how you tried to warn them about the collapse of the ecosystem. Or we could say, Barrett's right, we're the only ones who can set the record straight. Does he care about proving it wasn't Irvin's fault? He, he sure, sure tried awfully hard to tell Hephaestus what was up, so let's try that. We know about Hephaestus and how you tried to warn them about the collapse of the ecosystem. Eh, and what of it? Hmm. You probably think the sky is blue too. Well, this is not then going well. you'd be wrong. It's whatever color Hephaestus says it is. Only if you let them. You're a scientist. Your words matter. That's why we need you to testify. Testify? The trial is over. The verdict rendered. In case you two clowns didn't get the memo. Mm-hmm. Uh, why are you so reluctant to even try? Can we pay for your cooperation? What do you remember about the case? Or Ellie Yankton's reopen the case. Listen, 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 listen. Why are you so reluctant to even try? Because I tried before, mm. and they threatened me. Twenty years ago. I still wake up in fear almost every night. They said, if I ever left Gagarin, they... They... <clears throat> I left my wife to protect her. She didn't deserve any of this. Any of my... mess. Mm-hmm. Um... What do you remember about the case? I remember not to talk with people who come asking questions about powerful corporations. Uh-huh. Listen, dude, Ellie Yankton's reopened the case. Ellie? Ellie Yankton? But why? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. Ah, jeez. Let's try to persuade him. <laughs> My character so does not want to pay people things. Uh, we've got new evidence. All we need is for you to testify it's valid. I can't. I cannot do that. Why is this so hard to understand here? Okay, we got some persuading to do. Listen, man, nobody else needs to know about this, all right? <laughs> I mean, of course other people are going to know about it, because he's going to be in, in trial. Um, listen, you'd be letting Hephaestus get away with this. That has to bug you. Damn right it does. I just didn't think there was a way to challenge them. Well, there is now. Uh, let's see, We, you were a whistleblower once. Clearly you know what the right thing is. Or Irvin's reputation is on the line, or there's more at stake here than just Irvin's case. Um, uh, dude, you were a whistleblower once. Clearly you know what the right thing is. I did. Nice. <laughs> upon a time. Maybe I still do. <sighs> Fine. You've convinced me. I'd be willing to testify on one condition. I want to know what happened to Irvin. Because when he disappeared... Mm. Let's just say I had an epiphany. He first just didn't need to say a word. That's when I knew the threats against me and my family were real. Dr. Hawkson, it wasn't Hephaestus that took Irvin's life. It was the war. Irvin was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Caught in the crossfire. Then I am sorry for your loss. It won't change the past for either of us. But I will testify. And maybe, wherever Irvin is, he'll be glad that we can finally stick it to those assholes at Hephaestus. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me now. <sighs> I need a drink. Okay, now we need to go back and talk with Ellie. Quest says, We spoke to Helgi and attempted to convince him to serve as a witness in the upcoming trial. We should return to Ellie's office and deliver the news. But not before we talk to Helgi again. Helgi. 
Tell Miss Yankton I'll testify and do whatever else she needs from me. Cool. I've got some dirt on other mines, too. That wasn't an isolated incident. Might as well bring it all to light. Might as well. Maybe I'll sleep a little better when this is all over. I hope you do, man. I hope you do. Well, you have anything you want to say now, Barrett? Helgi agreeing to testify is a great help. We might need witnesses to vouch for his character, though. Someone in security, maybe? Um, we already have witnesses, dude. Hopefully, this will be enough to clear Urban's name. Alright, let's, um... Let's go back upstairs here. And back to Ellie's office. Which I believe is right up here. <laughs> How are you supposed to walk up this very steep ramp? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, back into this messy office. I hope Ellie is still taking names and holding people accountable around here. Did you hear that, Ellie? If anything, this place has gotten even more filthy. I wonder why I was, when I was here before, why I was allowed to pick this thing up. Oh, maybe because it doesn't... No, that doesn't show up either. I mean... The paper towel. That doesn't show was stealing. Ellie. She'll want to know how this went. That does. That does. This doesn't. So it should be able to pick this up. All right, I, I got to get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna hit a five here. Okay. So this here, I should be able to pick up. And I'm not even taking it. I'm just picking it up. Oh crap! I took it. <laughs> I just wanted to pick it up. Check. Expert witness. Double check. Now all that's left to do is give Ellie the good news. Uh-huh. So, like, this thing here. Oh, and that was considered stealing. Why is that considered stealing? Oh, neat. I didn't know you could that spin things that. around. Right? I didn't know you could do that. Look at that. How do I get it to go forward and backward? Guy <laughs> shooting me. And I'm trying to figure out how to use this thing. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's not that important. Well, apparently it is important to me. It cracks me up that this is the picture that it shows. <laughs> like the game's toying with me. Uh, Alright, let's sit down here. That's messy office. Jeez. Alright. Ellie. Okay, you two. Lay it on me. Did you find Helgi? Did he agree to testify? Well, we've got good news and... Well, that's it. Just more good news. Okay. Does that mean he said yes? Hmm. We could say help. Oh, we could go all the way down here. Uh, can we provide the witness with a safe house or an armed guard? What if the witness isn't the most reliable? We could say Helgi has agreed to testify. We also got Clint to serve as his character witness. Or we could say Helgi will testify. Dr. Caleb might be a good character witness should he need it. Or he, Helgi will testify, I also managed to get Lizzie to serve as a character witness. So we get to choose which one here. Uh, let's start down here. Can we provide the witness with a safe house or an armed guard? <laughs> what do we look like? New Atlantis? <sighs> no. <laughs> okay. Thanks for considering it. What if the witness isn't the most reliable? Then we better hope that our other evidence holds up. Okay, well, um, I think the doctor would make a good character witness. I think she'd make the best. So Helgi would testify Dr. Kayla might be a good character witness should we need it. Well, that is perfect. She's probably the best person to call on should have faced us decide to play dirty. Well, you two have done all that you could. Now it's time to hand the baton off to me. What do you think, Ellie? Do we have a chance? The evidence you've gathered is impressive. It truly is. So what's the verdict? In this case, I'd say spoilers are appreciated. I almost never say this because I don't want to jinx it, but I think this case is a slam dunk. Huzzah! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I think we can do everything on our checklist. Clear Irvin of any wrongdoing, charge Hephaestus with the cover-up, and even restore Helgi, uh, Dr. Hawkson's standing in the scientific community. All in all, though, really outstanding work. 
we wouldn't have gotten this far without your efforts. And I've got to imagine that wherever Irvin is, he appreciates it too. Agreed, Ellie. And thanks for being our anchor in this. Okay, we now we need to talk to Barrett. We should probably get out of Ellie's way <clears throat> and let her do her thing. We can talk more in private. Ellie, you have anything else you want to say? Shouldn't you be off adventuring? Um, do you need us here for the trial? Don't worry about it. For this case, I expect the paperwork to climb up the stairs and the verdict to fly out the window. So even if I did have a courier send you a court date, you'd never get here in time. But whatever the outcome, I'll make sure you and Barrett are the first to know. Okay. Can we discuss the case? Well, detectives, you did the heavy lifting. Now it's my turn to close. But it's not as simple as waving the proof in somebody's face, especially with a case this old. There's appeals that have to be filed, legal proceedings, bureaucracy, the whole nine. My recommendation is you and Barrett take some time off. Travel the galaxy, see the sights. I'll send him a message when I have some actual news. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Good luck to you. Clean this place up. All right, Barrett. You want to talk in private? Let's go outside. Uh, how do I get into that office? There's just a door here. Anything interesting in here? Have to be careful that I don't get caught stealing anything. Yeah, this is not a good private place for us to talk, Barrett. Come on, let's let's go outside. Now he has something for us. Great. Uh, let's go down here. And, um... Hey, what's drunk? People seem to really like it. Let's have a seat. I wish I could tell Barrett to sit down. Like you can in Skyrim. You can tell your companion to sit down. Like he's standing way over there. You know, I just think I'd like it if... I have to break up one oh. more find at Lizzie's. She and I are going to have problems. Yeah. I think it would be nice if we sat down here and had a little talk, but instead he'll just stand over there in the dark and we'll talk to him over there. Wow, we actually did it. Solved the case. And hopefully cleared Irvin's name. I feel like, what's the old saying? A great weight has been lifted off my shoulders? But it's actually true. I feel like I'm 80% biomass and 20% aerogel. Mm-hmm. Um, what's an aerogel? Uh, it's a substance that is literally lighter than air, depending on the planet. Habitable planets tend to range from one to two milligrams per cubic centimeter. Most aerogels are about a tenth of that. I feel like I'm currently hovering in that territory. Give or take a tenth. Okay, nerd. Let's see. Technically, the trial hasn't begun yet, or it must be a relief to get to this point, or I'm happy for you, Barrett, or we could... We could weigh you to confirm. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, let's weigh you. Ha! Ah, come on, let's not ruin the moment. Although, we did do a lot of walking. I bet I really am lighter. Okay. Hey, do you think things will change on Gagarin? I hope so. It's always a tug of war between the workers and the mining corps. But there's one thing we've got in our favor. There's more of us than there are of them. All it takes is for the people to realize it. When do you think we'll get a verdict? Ellie would know better than I. But I doubt it'll be anytime soon. These things tend to involve a lot of red tape. It's a special kind of adhesive that makes you <laughs> stick to old filing cabinets and manila envelopes. Funny. Uh, it's good we got that out of the way, or I'm glad you're feeling better and lighter. Um... I mean, I don't really like either one of these, but uh, yeah, I guess it's good we got that out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if they've ever done studies on emotional weight, but I feel like I just did lift at a comet. And not one of the smaller ones either. <laughs> I'm talking about the kind you can see without a visual aid. But if I can be serious for a moment, thank you. I couldn't have done this without your help. Mm hmm. I didn't do it for you. It was no big deal. Could flirt with him and say anything for you, or we could say anything for a friend. Um, I mean, you know, it was it was no big deal. Tell that to Harvey. 
we practically saved his life. In fact, Harvey's got a little explorer in him, too. According to this slate I found, hmm. turns out that our spiky friend's been all across the galaxy. Oh, notes on Irvin's plant added. Interesting. Uh, I know who Harvey is, but let's ask him. Wait, who's Harvey again? The plant? From Irvin's apartment? Just look at the slate. It'll explain. Okay. Uh, I wonder if Harvey has a home planet we can visit, or now that this is behind you, let's get back to business, or perhaps Harvey has a preference on where we go next. Um, I do wonder if Harvey has a home planet we can visit. I doubt it. Harvey's a wanderer. Getting lost is how he finds his way home. Okay. Harvey's got a long way to go before he's up to our adventuring standards. Or I'm just surprised you aren't sick of me by now. Or whatever's next, I'm glad I have you with me. Um, yeah, you know, Harvey's got a ways to go before he's up to our adventuring standards. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I had forgotten what it was like to work with someone so closely. Uh, where is this going? Or if you say so, or yes, Barrett, we have certainly been through a lot. Um, so, you know, I, I, I imagine in my... So, yeah. I, I, I've created this backstory for my character, and I know it's a it's a weak backstory. I, I'm no writer, you know. Uh, you know, character as a child sees his parents killed by pirates, so he spends his life hunting down pirates, you know. And also, times were hard for him growing up on the streets of Neon, so he's always looking for money. He just wants credits. Credits, credits, credits. Um... However, he probably doesn't have the best social skills either since he did grow up on the streets, you know, Go didn't on. really, yeah, he didn't really have good role models, you know, uh, so this is a situation where I feel like he just, he doesn't really know how to interact with Barrett right here, you know, so he says things like, uh, if you say so, you know, he doesn't, he's not mature enough to say yes, Barrett, we've certainly been through a lot, he doesn't ask a qu leading questions like, where is this going, he just says, yeah, if you say so. After Irvin, it was just me and Vasco for a long time. For years, I didn't think about these things either. I just kept moving because there was no alternative. I've come to realize that some events, uh, some people, stand out as pillars of my life. Mm hmm. Pillars? Or I'm not sure where this is going, or some people change this forever. Um,. What do you mean by pillars? It's whatever leaves an impression on you, right? Moments that define our lives? Where our future diverged from our expectations? People who changed you. Or people you've changed. Okay. Uh, gosh. I'm not sure where this is going, or some people change this forever. Yeah, uh, where are you going with this, Barrett? When I packed my lunch the other day, I thought of my grandmother doing the same for me as a child. She knew I appreciated, even if I didn't know how to say so yet. I hope she knew anyway. <clears throat> we only get a brief moment in this universe to interact, to feel, to be who we are and experience the range of emotions that our bodies and minds have evolved to comprehend. Mm hmm. Uh, Barrett, are you okay? Did you eat something weird? <laughs> we could flirt with him and say, tell me more about our bodies. We could say, I don't comprehend any of this. We could say, many people never get that opportunity, or living life is the fullest, living life to the fullest is a gift. Um, you know, I could see our character not really getting any of this. Like, what, what are you trying to say? I don't comprehend any of this, Barrett. That's okay. It's more of a background process in our brains. It's always there shaping us and making us who we are. If one is fortunate, you might even notice events and people changing you while it is in motion. Oh, that really cleared it up. Uh, let's see here. Where's this going, Barrett? All right, me, you're talking at me. Or I don't see your point. Or Constellation has certainly changed who I am, or I must be fortunate then. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see your point, Barrett. When Irvin was alive, we loved each other very much. We got married, talked about kids, the whole shebang. I've explored many worlds, and I've worked with Constellation for most of my life. I cherish those memories, but you have changed me as a person forever. 
I don't want to look back years from now and wonder what if. Oh. I need to know what you think about us. Uh-huh. Oh, good grief. Um, do I have to define our relationship with words? Or we can romance him and say, I love you, Barrett. That's what I think. Or we could go the friendship route and say, I will value our friendship forever, Barrett. Um. Uh, gee whiz, man. Um, this sounds scary. Do I have to define our relationship with words? Uh, sure, Barrett. I will value our friendship okay. forever. Continue. You took the words right out of my mouth. Now, mind if we get back to exploring this beautiful, mysterious universe with me, Captain? Okay. Now Barrett is dismissible, and he considers us an ally. Let's catch up. So he wants to catch up. We completed missed connections. Or it said updated, not completed. Missed connections. Oh, okay, this is the one we're supposed to find this courier. Uh, we did complete breach of contract, though. Having received information his former husband was wrongly convicted, Barrett asked me to take him to Gagarin to help clear Irvin's name. We managed to find evidence that the mining done on H-363 was the cause of the disaster and delivered to Ellie Yankton, who will do the legal work necessary to clear Irvin's name. That's wonderful. Uh, let's take a look at this um, thing that he gave us, the slate that he gave us about... The plant? Notes on Urban's plant? Oh, the other day, oh. I went on a rescue mission. An asteroid was slated to hit a moon in one of the outer systems, and I wanted to get some genetic samples before they went extinct. Well, I managed to get one. This suspiciously cactus-looking thing here. I didn't know what it was, only that it was beautiful. It's not until I scanned it back home that I realized it wasn't native to the system. The flora was alien. Somehow, a seed had stowed away on someone's ship and managed to plant itself on this unremarkable moon like a rogue dandelion clock dancing through space. And I thought, well, isn't that a kindred spirit? This whimsical little cactus is an explorer just like us. To me, what we do at Constellation is always bittersweet. When we explore new worlds, we leave our homes behind in a way, that's what this plant represents. It's a hello and a goodbye. So, I'm giving this plant to you, Barrett, in hopes that you never lose your sense of adventure and the places you call home. Let it be a celebration of every long goodbye and each new beginning. Well, wasn't that lovely? I can't imagine, like, your spouse, significant other, dying 20 years ago, and then you find a recording like that that you'd never heard before. Our last hard to imagine. Was a real hard Look, there goes, uh, li um, not Lizzie, Ellie right there. You probably heard it. People talking. Oh, we already heard that one. Uh, so, I think Barrett wants to talk to us again. I think that, um, let's see, activities, talk with Barrett. So, Barrett wants to talk to us even more. Let's get him out of the darkness here. Let's go someplace light where we can talk to him. That's not the right button. Barrett, let's, let's, um, is it always nighttime on this planet? I know it's not, but it feels like the city is just always really dark. Here, let's go over here. We'll go here. There's a little bit better lighting in here. Well, a little bit, not a lot. Barrett. So, you gotta fill me in on what happened at the temple. What happened? What did you see? Hmm. You've never found these things before, Barrett? Oh, great explorer? <laughs> I've seen a lot, but I'm just one person. There are more worlds out there than I could ever physically visit. Then what happened? I heard you did some stuff, and then you changed oh man i forgot to use my powers on the pests i should have done that uh we could say i'm still me i'm just a little different now we could say the details don't matter much i went in and got a power no big deal we could say i got a power i'm awesome now or i did not change but my perception of the universe did um i don't know i'm still me i'm just a little bit different by different you mean you have magical superpowers 
Sure, different is technically appropriate as a descriptor, but it wouldn't be my first choice. You encountered advanced technology that altered your biology in a way that results in... In what? Superpowers? Uh, does it matter what we call them? Or jealous, right? I would be if I were you. Or, I've been calling it my power, but maybe it's more of a medical condition. Medical condition, I don't know. Or basically, yeah. Um, I mean, I have been calling it my power, but maybe it is more of a med medical condition. Interesting. Maybe we should get someone to check you out, just in case. Anyway, thanks for filling me in on the temple and your power. I wonder if we can find any more traces of whoever built them. It just opens up a world of questions. It's so exciting. Okay. There we go. We spoke with Barrett. And, um... One more time. Ah, uh, my friend. Dish. How are you feeling about our friendship? Our friendship propels me forward. It gives me a purpose. And brings me joy. Okay. That's so sweet, Barrett. Thank you. I'm glad we're on the same page, buddy. Or, Barrett, I want to be closer with you. I, I want it to be more than what it is right now. No, I'm glad we're on the same page. You bet. Anytime you want to talk about us, know that I'm here for you just as you've been there for me. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So, um, we do have another quest that's going to take us back here to Gagarin. I do want to explore this city some more. Uh, there's still places we haven't been yet. But uh, we've got somebody who's waiting on something. This Miss Connections one here. Uh, we're supposed to search for the courier along his route. Uh, Helena has provided me with the courier's route for the day. I need to check his various stops and see where he might have gotten waylaid. This is um, a quest where this uh, person here who... Does she work for Reliant Medical? I think she does. Some courier was supposed to bring her some stuff and he never showed up. So we volunteered to uh, see if we can't retrace the courier's steps. So we're going to do that for her. You from off world? Well destination's hot and dusty. Garn's got you covered. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Because, um... Oh. Oh, I thought this was going to take us off of Gagarin, but apparently it's not. Okay, here's a check-in point. Let's activate it. Courier 8148 detected. Error. You have already checked in at this drop-off location. Please resume standard route. Okay. Protecting your precious home from ruffians and vagrants gets me nothing. What's this? <laughs> you see my place? Vagrants can have it. I'll see you when your shift's done. You heading outside the city? Be careful. Mm -hmm. The heat doesn't kill you. The critters might. Okay, let's see. There's something 32 in that direction. There's something 52 in the direction. There's something 25 in this direction. How do I get up there? Hmm, I actually don't know. It's up there. Oh, I haven't been up here yet. Here we go. Courier check-in point. Let's activate it. Check-in accepted. Oh. You are late, courier. Please complete delivery and proceed along your route. Okay. Please complete delivery. So now we got two more of these things to check. There's one of them over there. Let's go over to that one. Ugh, real scorcher today, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Error. You have already checked in at this location. Please resume route. Okay. Go down here. Check into this last one. Down here. Uh-oh. Oh. How do I get down there? You want to know what I think about all these new businesses buying up the town? No comment. Okay. Then why did you comment if you have no comment? Ooh, we get to go in here. Oh no. Holy. What happened to him? Who blew his brains out? And why? 
repair it. Looks like we hit a dead end. That's all you have to say? Empty priority package. Bunch of credits. Okay. Oh, the blood. Who did this? What does our quest say now? Search the courier's body for the package. Well, I suppose this explains why the courier never showed up. He's dead. I should check his body for Helena's package. Because that's really all that matters. Notepad, thermos, coffee mug, desk fan, some markers. Uh, we're going to take his credits. We're going to take his... We'll take all this stuff and we'll take the empty priority package. Speak to Helena about the package. Now, she said it was top secret. She didn't want us to look at it. But we're going to anyway because it's the kind of thing we do. Empty priority package. Oh, it's empty. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah, whoever killed him took what was in the package. Hmm. Interesting. Good news, I've recovered Helena's package. Bad news, whatever was inside it has gone missing. I should return this to Helena anyway. Well, let's go do that. Huh. Yeah, I thought he was off-world. I didn't know he was on the planet still, but... He's on the planet still. Alright, let's go back up here to Helena and Reliant Medical. Is this it? This isn't it, is it? It's not it. <laughs> um, I don't remember how to get there. Maybe around this way. Oh, yeah. There we go. Go in here. Did we, were we able to use this computer before? Yeah, I think we were. All right, Helena. Got some good news and I got some bad news. Back at last. Did you find the courier? And more importantly, my package? Think you might need to work on those priorities a bit. I'm sorry if my straightforwardness offends you. Now, did you find the man or not? We could say, technically you asked for the package, not its contents, and on that front I can provide here. What's going on behind? I take up a life of piracy. Uh, I recovered the package, but you're not going to like this. It's empty, or the, your courier's dead, and whatever's inside the, your package is gone. We're going to say that. My god. Dead? Well, I suppose that explains why my employee, Mr. Maximoff, disappeared so suddenly. And why the tracking beacon I installed on his ship was detected fleeing the planet. Here, your payment Ooh. for finding the courier. It seems you've got some chops when it comes to investigation. What would you say to finding Mr. Maximoff for me? Seeing what he knows about where our data might have wandered off to. Mm hmm Um, first, why exactly did you install a tracking device on your employee's ship? Mr. Maximoff is, was, and may still be, one of Reliant's most ambitious young executives. His business is Reliant's business. If he was to do something rash, like run off with Reliance confidential and proprietary data, then it's our responsibility to know that. Hence the tracker. And why I'd appreciate your help in confirming if that's the case or not. I see. You don't think this is more of a job for UC Security? Oh, I'll be informing UC Security, but speedy results don't appear to be their forte. I need Mr. Maximoff tracked down and my package recovered, and I need it now. Can I count on you to handle that? Mm, let's see here. If I never have to work with you again, it'll be too soon. Or consider him good as found. Yeah, consider him as good as found. Excellent. Mr. Maximoff, Bonifant, appears to have set down on another world here in Alpha Centauri. Holy. Go there and see what he may know on the subject of our fallen courier and our missing data. Data? Really? Data? So now our quest missed the mark. Find. Sound like she pronounced it Bonifant. Uh, Maximov on Holly. I've agreed to help Helena Strickland track down her stolen data. She believes the key to find it is one of her employees, 
Bona whatever Maximov, whose ship she tracked to the nearby planet of Holly. I need to find him. If we talk to her again, what will she say? That data is very important to Reliant. I'll pay well to have it returned. Hey, you're speaking my language. You're headed to Holly. That's where Bonifant's ship is. Bonifant? Is that really how you pronounce that? Bonifant has always been ambitious. I wouldn't have expected that to mean he'd kill someone to make off with company property, though. Yeah, same here. I'll handle things with security and the courier. You find Bonifant. <laughs> okay, let's go find Bonifant. I mean, I don't, I don't know much French, but I didn't know a C was pronounced like that. You okay. have not been authorized to direct this unit. Thank you. For I mean, your the character that looks like a C. All right, let's go back to our ship here and take off. Hey, uh, before we do that, let's go to the trade authority. And uh, let's see, we'll sell off this weapon that we just picked up. I don't think I have anything else that I want to sell at the moment. Interesting rock formations. Decorations, don't you think? So, what do you say we start traveling with somebody else? Um, I mean, I, I think we've finished his story, right? Uh, I don't think there's any more story for him. I could be wrong. Uh, we traveled with Sarah for a little while, but she she may have story remaining. I don't know. Uh, and then we got Andreja here, who I don't really know anything about. Um, so let's go ahead and um, dismiss him. If I can, why can't I talk to him? We talk to her. Hello. Uh, do you have anything of interest for me, Andreja? Indeed I do. Oh, okay. All yours. Credits? Okay, she's speaking my language. Are you ready to head back out? Finally, I've been waiting. You two go on. I have academic journals to review. And the galaxy's cheesy as hoagie to devour. An interesting mix of activities. I hope they are both enjoyable. Okay, so we're going to travel with Andreja now. Let's see if she's got any gear on her. Lost in what my is thoughts, it? but glad to be back. If I can take a few things, I will. Okay. Uh, she has heavy particle fuse. That's all she has. So I have no idea what kind of weapon she uses. I don't know if this is a hint to the type of weapon she uses. I don't know. I don't know how you guys find that information out other than going online. Uh, it's very possible that I picked this up and gave it to her because I was over encumbered, although I don't know why she'd only have one thing, especially if this stuff doesn't weigh anything. So do I need to give her a, a weapon that uses heavy particle fuse? Until next time. Well, let's go see what we have in inventory. We'll get her some gear. I'm Pardon missing. me. Pardon me, Sarah. Sarah, where are you going? Uh, let's see here. Let's do a little bit of transferring. Uh, we need to give her a space suit. We can give her... Um, I, I kind of hate to give her legendary stuff cause in case I forget to give it back, get it back from her. So we'll give her the Ablative Deep Core space suit. Um, I only have one pack? That's all? Really? All right, we'll, ke we'll keep our eyes open for other packs. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Antiseptic refined ecliptic space helmet. That thing's ugly. Liquid cooled calibrated navigator space helmet. We'll give her that. That sounds pretty cool. Um, huh, if I gave her apparel, would she wear it? I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, now, as far as weapons go, do I have one that uses fuse ammo? Well, this does. The Furious Big Bang. I could give her that. Let's see, do I have anything else that uses fuse? Well, this uses light fuse, but I think she has heavy fuse, right? 
Well, it looks like we have one weapon. We'll take that. Give her that. Don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, but we're going to do it. All right, Andreja. Yes? Let's trade gear. Need to see what I'm carrying? Mm-hmm, I do. Okay, so we are going to give her the Furious Big Bang. And then we're going to give her the Ablative Deep Core Spacesuit. And the Liquid Cooled Calibrated Navigator Space Helmet. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, and now I'm going to hit F5. And we're going to walk up here and we're going to take off. And then we're going to go to Holly. does. Okay, we're going to bring up our scanner, and we're going to go to back to Jemison. So we'll choose that, and we'll travel on over there, I guess. I wonder how come sometimes this thing says mission, and sometimes it says travel. I don't know. Actually, we wanted to go to Alpha Centauri, not Jemison. But whatever. You Same. are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Oh, do I have the right quest selected? Scan complete. You are clear to land at New Atlantis. Please enjoy your visit to Jemison. Um. All right. What quest are we doing here? Missed the mark. Find Bonifant Maximov on Holly. Oh, I didn't have it selected. Crap. We probably just went to the wrong place. Well, let's see. It's the same system, so we should be okay, though. Here we go. That's why I did save mission before. There we go. Travel to Holly. Okay. Moon of Olivas, Alpha Centauri system. Here's where we're going to land. Civilian outpost. Why is it? Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, reclaimed outfo outpost. We're going to land here. Can't wait to see her shooting this weapon. Okay. All right, here we are. It's time for me to end this episode. Hey, but when we come back next time, Andresia will accompany accompany us as we uh go to the reclaimed outpost here on Holly. We're going to go and look for Bonifant Maximov and uh, see if we can figure out what the heck's going on. Did he kill the courier? If he didn't, who did? What happened to what was ever in the container? Maybe we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me on, on this one. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. I sure would appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.